Today we're gathering to celebrate the blessing of the Tepeyac Hill and the bronze images atop Tepeyac of Our Lady of Guadalupe and St. Juan Diego. When we received the news that Blessed Stanley Rother was to be beatified, we knew we needed to build a shrine to honor him. We wanted to build something that would be adequate to accommodate the growing number of Hispanic Catholics in this part of the city. So we decided to combine the shrine of Blessed Stanley Rother with a significant shrine to Our Lady of Guadalupe. As you could see, lots of people, despite the cold weather today, showed up to show their devotion and love to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Juan Diego was tasked by Our Lady of Guadalupe to be the messenger of, of the Lord. And I think we, as lay people in the church, we are trusted with the good news of the Lord to become His messengers to the world. This would be the perfect way to inaugurate the site. This hill, which you know recalls and celebrates the, the message of Our Lady of Guadalupe de Juan Diego is part of the shrine here because it's integral to the experience of evangelization in North America. The Knights have a great interest in this because they've been very actively involved in uh, helping to, to fund the images of Our Lady and St. Juan Diego that are on the top of the Tepeyac Hill. The Knights of Columbus has been very, very much involved with what we have on offer here at Tepeyac Hill and very much involved with the Archbishop in the support for the shrine and this as a place of renewal and pilgrimage. The Knights of Columbus today was involved in the procession of uh, leading the procession in for the mass and then for the blessing at Tepeyac Hill and then doing other groundwork on the facility where the shrine has been built is the south of the city where there are many Hispanic Catholics that are really overflowing many of the churches where we are offering Spanish masses, so the shrine is gonna be a great place for many of them. Knowing that we needed to build a large church to accommodate a growing community, it'll be the largest Catholic church in Oklahoma. It will be the spiritual home, the parish home for a large community of Hispanic Catholics. We're very proud to have uh, the Knights involved in this project, and I certainly encourage men to learn about the Knights of Columbus to become more active in their faith. It was beautiful. Beautiful to have so many, you know, thousands of people come to honor Our Lady. We think this will be a beautiful place of pilgrimage for people from throughout the region, throughout the United States, and throughout even the world, a place to come and honor Our Lady and also to learn about Blessed Stanley Rother.